Queen Elizabeth II has been married to her husband Prince Philip for more than 70 years but what did she really think about him when they first met? Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip have been married for more than 70 years. The couple said I do in a service at Westminster Abbey on November 20, 1947. Having been together for decades, the two know each other inside out. But what did the Queen really think about Prince Philip when they first met? The then Princess Elizabeth met Prince Philip at the Royal Navy College in Dartmouth in 1939. At the time, the Queen was only 13 years old and Philip 18. Still, despite their difference in age, Elizabeth couldn't take her eyes off the prince. Revealed in the 2014 documentary The Majestic Life of Queen Elizabeth II, it has emerged what the young princess really thought of her future husband when they first met. Robert Lacey, historian and biographer, recalled the moment when the spark between the royal couple reportedly struck. He said, One of the most extraordinary things about the Queen is that she fell in love and married just about the first man she met. Of course, it's a slight exaggeration. But she met Prince Philip of Greece, as he then was in 1939 when he was a dashing naval cadet at Dartmouth Naval College. She had met him before at family occasion, but this was the occasion when, by her own account, the spark was struck. According to royal author Philip Dampier it was love at first sight and they started to write to each other. Majesty magazine editor Ingrid Seward added, very dashing and very handsome, and I mean quite unusually. She actually thought this man is wonderful, you know, as a 13 years old could think. A handsome prince. And she never really had any affection for any other man. In 1946, when Elizabeth turned 20, Philip asked her father King George VI for his daughter's hand. The pair got engaged and announced the joyous news to the world on Elizabeth's 21st birthday. The royal wedding of Princess Elizabeth and Philip Mountbatten took place on November 20, 1947 at Westminster Abbey in London.